Hello all, Oni Gato here for Oni in the Garden, and uh, looking at the front yard, so I started looking at the basils, but I just spotted, let's see if we can get a good image of them here, oh don't you dare fly at me, you might be able to make it out, there's a couple of bees that are just hanging around here means we've got a hive not too far away. Those look like European honeybees, which is just fine by me. It means I've got pollinators in the area. And obviously you can see very, very pretty flowers. And hopefully you can see them. They're a lovely shade of purple. And uh, previous owner had to have put them in because, well, they are everywhere right up in the front. So we're gonna start with the potatoes. Potatoes are looking good. You can see them growing in now. I've got two really good solid stalks, and uh, it just basically looks like it's just growing in really well. The aloe has bounced back. You can see little small starts all throughout. I really do need to go in and transplant that out to something else. I don't know if I, if I will even, but I should. The lemongrass. It's grassy. I need to weed it again, but it's looking pretty good actually got a few new additions to the front we've taken all the plants from inside out and uh, planted some new stuff in the cups and we went down to the Home Depot last week and picked up some new stuff so the basils they've all hardened in and the ones that were already out here and looking poorly have decided to start going well this one here and this one here were inside and they're now outside they are taking a little bit of damage um, it's just a hardening process so not too surprising that this back here is a Greek oregano it grows in a little bit more and we'll be able to start getting oregano leaves off of it for soups and salads and pastas and stuff like that this is a chocolate mint I think it's chocolate mint. <laughs> no, it's a sweet mint. Sweet mint. Uh, it's for the wife. And actually, you can start pulling leaves off of that right now if we wanted to. Not many, of course, but don't need much for a good shipping odd. Do need to get in here and weed the bed, though. Oh, well. It's not bad. All right, over on this side, we've got cabbages. This is the cabbage that I broke. You can see it's not doing well, but it's not dead either. This is one of the cabbages that was first transplanted out. And these are the other ones. And you can see they're actually starting to grow in quite nicely. And the back there is a cilantro. Uh, I did not like being transplanted but it is starting to bounce back, slowly. But it's got all summer to do so, so that's not bad. We also have a pair of strawberries. And hmm, they actually came with a little bit of fruit already on them. So this one. It's gonna be sweet. It's also very juicy. So, excuse me for a second. All right, here's the carrots. Moving along very nicely. You can see that the that's not onion, that's grass. Ah, there. <laughs> the onions have actually split into bunches. It looks like they're starting to seed. That's fine. I'm okay with that. And this carrot here has gotten about as big as I think it's going to get. So all the soil is nice and loose and dry. I'm going to go ahead and pull it out very, very carefully. No, I think I broke it. Maybe. 
There we go. Really a two-handed job, but there we go. Well, it's a lot broader than it is long. As you can see, compared to my hand, that's not bad. That'll make, make a nice little snack or uh, addition to a salad or something. So, I've got a bunch of the other carrots. They're starting to come in. Uh, I think what I'm going to end up doing, I've got two of these 55-gallon drums. I think next year for carrots, I'm going to fill this thing up with basically a sand mixture of about 80% sand and about 20% uh, compost or dirt and then we'll do uh, carrots in that so they've got a much better chance of being long and thin rather than short and stumpy but uh, that's what's going on outside I want to show All you what's right, going on inside. inside again here we got the Granny Smith apple and it's doing quite well I'll be moving it to a larger pot probably another three or four weeks same with the lemon uh, they're going to need to get into larger pots as well I've started so a lot of the cups the basil cups and the, the, the Napa cabbage cups uh, were empty obviously so redid them uh, this one here has about a half a dozen watermelon seeds we'll see what comes of it this one here has about the same of cucumber seeds this one has every single last bell pepper can't really make it out very well, but it's bell take three. <laughs> Every single bell pepper seed that I've got. Um, if it doesn't come up, it doesn't come up, I'll just harvest some more out of a bell pepper we buy from the store. That's fine. But these were actually uh, burpee seeds, but they were old. They were almost three years old at this point. So I'm not too surprised about them not growing in. But we'll see if anything comes up. And then uh, last week, I told you I had planted muskmelons. Well, this is a week on. So they're getting ready to be transplanted. I'll be transplanting them here in eh, probably later today, honestly. This is the Kratky. I've taken the uh, bell pepper seeds out. They weren't going anywhere. They weren't doing anything. It had been two weeks. And I replaced the bell pepper seeds. Just barely make it out inside there, maybe. If it'll focus. It's a bush bean. Well, hopefully it'll come up. Uh, bush bean method. Uh, bush bean that I'm trying to do, crack key style. And we'll see what it comes of it. I'm not super hopeful, but we got a chance. So we will see you all next time. Bye.